Konnichiwa. Hello everyone. This is Christopher from Japan. And I'm today with two robots. Uh, this is Katsurao, who we've been playing with since uh, April. And this is Gorigamine, his younger brother, who just got put together. So this video is about Gorigamine's uh, assembly. By the way, these guys are both named after mountains in the town where I live in Japan that I have climbed. So um, just some preliminary observations about my assembly of Gorigamine. Uh, the, the nice people at Niro told me that they expected it to take about four hours to complete all the steps of the assembly. And in fact, took me, I'm a slowpoke, almost eight hours to assemble him. And he's not completely done. As you notice, his feet aren't quite on because his uh, drawer is not closing properly. There's something going on with the 3D parts in there that I need to figure out. Uh, a lot of the time that it took me, the extra time that it took me, had to do with unfamiliarity and maybe uh, a penchant for attention to very minute details. Uh, the other observation that I'll make uh, based on this experience of assembling Gorigamine uh, is that uh, this was my first experience assembling something that has no manual, at least no written manual. All of the assembly instructions are online on YouTube videos. And uh, so you basically, uh, if you're like me, you have to watch the videos over and over again and certain points, you know, rewind and cycle over them several times to kind of get the whole thing properly assembled in the right order. So that was very interesting, but I think that that's a great thing because there are no translation issues. If you look at things like automobiles and, well, things that people assemble, a lot of times uh, they come with a manual, and if people are assembling these all over the world, uh, somebody's got to translate those manuals. So um, this uh, doesn't get, nothing gets lost in translation. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but it was also a little difficult sometimes to understand which screws went where. Um, some of these screws are very small, and some of them resemble each other a lot. So um, that was one thing um, that could was difficult along the way several times. Another issue that popped up is just the artifacts that um, occur in the natural printing, the 3D printing process. So um, I, I think Nero has done a really wonderful job of designing the parts so that you can kind of um, make use of those artifacts that usually occur over these overhangs, because I believe these parts like this are printed actually upside down. And uh, these surfaces are quite difficult to print. So um, this is fine, but sometimes around the motors and the holes, there are obstructions that need to be gotten rid of. Or uh, one of the experiences that I had with um, Katsurao early on was that the little um, fibers left over from the 3D printing process were causing noise in the fan. So I had to cut those away. And so I was a little careful about uh, Gorigami Ne when we put him together. So thank you for watching. And uh, next up on is part of this video is a time lapse of the process of assembly of Gorigami Ne. Uh, I'd very much like to hear your comments and questions and observations. So please, by all means, uh, post comments. And uh, I look forward to seeing you the next time on the next episode. Um, there are a few more things to do with Gorigamine, and then we can power him up and see how he does. Thank you.